Hey, mister. Morning, sir. Not a bad town you got here. That's it. You ain't welcome here no more. Will do. Just a misunderstanding. My word's the darn law around here. Hi there, mister. Good morning, sir. You know what? Hand over oh, all your money. Oh, it's fighting time. Ah. <clears throat> Up before I do. Ah. I'm gonna make you wish you'd beg. <clears throat> ah. Put him up. You're seeing everything now. Hello there. Hello, here for a ticket to the show? A scar. I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting. That might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. Where are we going? Just need to pick up something. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Good morning, sir. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. <laughs> hey, partner. How are you? Hey, friend. Morning. Yeah, okay, boy. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. 
Hello. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Yeah, it shouldn't be a problem. If you want to see what we've got, it's all in the catalog here. Good? Sure. Let's go. Easy. <laughs> Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Uh, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. Calm it down. Let's head up to the ridge up there. Get a proper view. All right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. <laughs> Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. I think that's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Let's 
go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard can it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things. Bring them back to the yards. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. head for town. You know what? Marston, why don't you leave the sheep to me? You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. You sure you don't want me to have a try? Shut your mouth. There's some getting away. Yeah. Watch out! Why don't you try going straight? Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Let's go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seem better around here. I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. 
Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as a buying sense. Uh, you're buying. We'll pay you. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Thought we was doing the robin here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will ya? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. In the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never... Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, me, Poe. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderland! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? Vanderland! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning the yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. got where I am by letting Scott Why not? Like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please. Gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, no one.
the strauss on the back of john's horse and let's get out of here <laughs> Get him on the horse and let's go. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I better get out of here. Put it down now! It's time! Drop him! Dumbass. Hope you've been good out there. Hello, Arthur. We keep heading east. Bill. Is that the plan? For now. And when do we stop? When we reach Paris? So, we moving? Yeah. We stop when we find someplace sensible, shake them that's following us, and lie low. This is lying low. We turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. We ain't even got the delusion of being anything but a bunch of killers. We are just trying to survive, Hosea. We don't have a choice. This will end soon. Damn right it will. Constipated as usual. Micah told me of a place we can lie low. Look here. 
Dewberry Creek, he said. Okay. Maybe you and Charles can go take a look, clear off anyone you find before the whole lot of us move in looking so conspicuous. And how are we gonna do that? I don't know. Start dancing? Looks like I turned into a goddamn errand boy. You have turned into my son. You worry because I worry. We are just the same. Charles, come with me. We got work to do. Now, where have I heard that before? Hey. Hello, Arthur. Whoa! So where are we going? Find a new spot to camp. We're packing up and moving on. Again? We have to. Fast. We'd already pushed our luck too far before that mess we just made in Valentine. Ah, uh, that didn't sound good. Uh, killed a lot of law. Killed a lot of Cornwall's men. They must know where we are by now. So, we're heading south? Yeah. Area called Dewberry Creek. Dutch wants us to give it a look. Make sure it's clear and a good place to lie low for a while. I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Not again! <laughs> now, I was saying something. Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, I've only known him a few months, but the way he talks, I never thought I'd see him wanting to head south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. Goes against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing